learners welcome to our online class i'm teacher isaac uh, from greenfield school Kamolo. i'm going to take you through integrated science grade 8 class i hope you enjoy the lesson okay, in our today's class we are introducing a new strand and that is living things and their environment and under this new strand we are specifically going to look at the cell structure we are going to understand the meaning of the cell and we will find the cell and the functions of the cell first of all before we go further i want us to understand what the cell is the cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of living organisms the cell is the smallest structural and functional unity of living organism we are going to look at the meaning of the cell and the cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of a living organism both animals and plants have cells the cell in living organisms is responsible for carrying out biological processes that happen in living organisms cells are very small structures that we cannot observe by our own eyes so we magnify them so that we can observe them and what we use to magnify the cells is a microscope i have said that both plants and animals have cells and we are going to identify them and observe their parts very well with me here i have the structures of a plant cell and an animal cell this is a plant cell as you can see and this is an animal cell both cells have uh, they have similar parts and they are in plant in a plant cell there are parts which are not in an animal cell like for example an animal cell do not have a chloroplast also an animal cell does not have a vacuole as you can observe the similar parts are like the cell membrane which is there uh, here in an animal cell we also have the cytoplasm which is also here we have the nucleus in a plant cell and which is also in an animal is in an animal cell we also have the nucleus here these are the structures of uh, cells in plants and also in animals so learners we have learned about the cell the meaning of the cell we have also seen that the cell is found in plants and in animals we have also seen that the cell is responsible for carrying out biological process processes in living organisms and also that the cells are very small structures that we cannot observe by our eyes so we use a microscope to magnify them we have identified the structures and the parts of the cells in plants and in animals up to that point we want to end our class for today as i leave you with an assignment of we are going to identify the differences between a plant cell and an animal cell learners i hope you have enjoyed the lesson until next time have a good time